Steve, back at Hamden today, obviously the scene of two fantastic victories in the Nations League in September. You must be looking forward to getting back with the group and building the momentum. Yeah, I think this this camp's important for us just to have a little debrief on what we what we did actually achieve in September. Uh, it was obviously a good week for us. Uh, it was nice to get promotion to the the A groups against the the so-called big boys. We look forward to that in the future. But for now, it's just to concentrate on what we're doing. Uh, Long break between September and March, a competitive game, so it's nice to get this friendly match. I can get the boys together for a couple of days and, like I say, debrief on what we've done and look forward to what we're going to do next year. We touched briefly on the Nations League. Obviously, that success was big for the supporters and obviously big for the group as well. Yeah, I think it's massive. I think the, after the, the disappointment of not getting to the World Cup, I think it was important to bounce back in a positive way. And we, we certainly did that. We, we're getting the promotion. It gives us... I, I keep saying that if you want to improve, you have to play against the best. So it gives us good games against top teams and, and hopefully the squad will improve for that experience. Since the group was together, we've also had the draw for next year's European Championship qualifiers. Some exciting matches to look forward to? Yeah, I think it's a good draw. I've got to be honest. It's a draw that everybody's talking about. Everybody's excited about it. I think good teams, potential to pick up good points in certain places. And Again, a group that I look at and I think teams can drop points against each other. So it's going to be a competitive group uh, and one that we are, we're very much looking forward to. We also had the news last week of the friendly against England confirmed as part of the 150th anniversary celebrations. That will certainly be a big occasion here at Hamden for the supporters. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a sellout. I'm sure it'll be a, a good night, a big occasion. Listen, it's a, it's a great chance to remember that 150 years since the first international against England just down the road. Every time we, we drive into Hamden, I have a little look, at, a little look to my right, see the, see the old, the old place where the, the first game took place. Hopefully this time it's not a nil-nil draw, though. Just on to the squad now you've named today. Uh, obviously, Calvin Ramsey, a name that jumps out, uh, played for, made his debut for Liverpool last week. What's impressed you with Calvin? No, I think more, more his form at Aberdeen before he got the move to Liverpool. Obviously, he's made the move to Liverpool. He's, uh, he had a stuttering start because he was injured when he got there so they've looked after him very well they've brought him back he started playing again he got his first taste of competitive first team action in the champions league which is which is a great story uh, it's a great place to go and make your your debut at anfield champions league game and it's really just a chance for me to get calvin in the squad have a look at him uh, sh short period of time obviously i'm missing a couple of fullbacks as well so it's a good chance to bring him in and have a look Obviously, part and parcel with international football is dealing with injuries. We'll start with the positives. Obviously, Grant Hanley back in after missing the last camp and the captain, Andy Robertson, as well. No, I think everyone knows that I've consistently picked Grant. Rob was the captain. He's always going to be involved. So it's good to have them back. Obviously, we'll miss out one or two. There's still more games to be played before we actually meet up. So there's always the possibility that there'll be more dropouts. What we did show in September was that when we've got to go down into the depths of the the extended pool of players, if you like, we've still got quality there that can come in and get a, get a result for the country, which is great. One to mention would be Lewis Ferguson, obviously a big move for him this summer. I know loyalty, loyalty is something you've spoken about before in the past. He missed out, he's now doing well in Italy, he's playing and he's back in the squad. Yeah, it's funny, sometimes it, it does work out the way you plan. I actually spoke to Lewis before the last camp in September and he wasn't in the Bologna team and I said, listen, just... Bear in mind the fact that you've gone out, you've gone to a different country, uh, rather than coming away with us and maybe just sitting on the bench and not getting too many minutes, it's better for you to stay. He had a new manager at that time, had just come into the club. I said, maybe better to stay, work your way in, and hopefully get some minutes on the pitch for Bologna. He's done that, he's got himself a couple of goals. Uh, so, good decision, I think, by both myself and Lewis for that one. It's, it's worked in our favour and it's nice to have him back in the squad. Just looking ahead to this camp, obviously one of the factors in international football is the gaps. So again, another important reason to get them in to round off the year one more time. Yeah, it's too big. Be between September and, and March is, is too long not to see the players, not to get them together, not to assess what we've done this year, what we've done well, what we've done not so well, and make sure that we're ready for a, for a tough but exciting campaign next year. Just finally, a fresh challenge with, with Turkey. Obviously, we haven't played them since 1960, which I'm sure you knew. Um, that's up someone different for the, for the players to play against? Different. Uh, team ranked similar to ourselves. I think we are, we're around about 40. I think we're, we're about 40. They're, they're just behind us, 40, 44, 45, I think, in the world ranking. So two evenly matched teams. Tough place to go. You know, it's going to be quite an emotional game. Uh, and, and, a, and a good friendly, a, a game that will be competitive and a game that we will have to play to our best to get any, any kind of positive result. Thanks, Steve. All the best. Thank you.